Hi folks, Ron Wasik here, Polish Pickle. I showed you my tent heater last week. Been thinking about it for a whole week. Now, first of all, let me tell you what my daughter said. She enjoys watching my videos. She's a registered nurse, I'm very proud of her. And I usually listen to what she says. So I asked her what she thought on my videos and she said, the shorter the better. So we're gonna keep this real short. Uh, again, the Polish pickle here, Ron Wasik. I uh, rethought about my camping stove and I made a change. And I'm going to attempt to show you why I made that change. I was thinking about this thing in inside my tent. I've got a ripstop nylon floor, which will melt. And I don't want to do that. So I was thinking some way of being able to take this thing apart and put it out and cool it down before I even roll out of the sack. So I'm going to bring the camera up close to this thing, show you what I do and explain it, and then I'll close it out in the end. Okay, stand by. Okay now, if everybody remembers, there's my little magic heat. Fluid's already inside, it's got a wick sticking out. I made my little heater out of the can that I put on top of here with a little handle. Okay. As you can see, part of my problem, even though I have it at a distance, is putting it on there. Well, with the handle laying on the side, right there, guess what's going to happen to that handle? It's going to get hot, so I'm going to have to reach for my knife wherever that is. I've got to move around a lot, and I'm afraid I'm going to get burned. So, of course, I keep the lid close, the lid to the can. That stays readily available to put the fire out, put the flame out. But I have my little thermo indicator here of how hot this thing gets. And right now it's at a 311 degrees. The side is at 240. The handle's around 142 degrees. Now, I don't know if you can read that. That was the handle. So I don't dare grab that handle. So what I did was thought about it long and hard. This is what I would have to do to get it off is use my multi-tool. Well, of course, that's going to be hot. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut you down for a second till this can cools and show you the change I made. Okay, what I did was took the little handle off the top. All it is is a coat hanger with two little ends cut in it so it fits into the holes that I drilled. What I did was made a larger. As you can see, it's larger. Now, instead of putting it up top where it's going to get hot again, I hook it in holes in the bottom of the can. So when this thing sits on my burner, and I'm going to show you the heat here. I'm going to show you the difference of the heat on this handle at the bottom compared to having the handle across the top. Now, at one point, this thing got above 400 degrees. This is only good for 400. So when it came up over 400 degrees, it's already at 295 and you see I haven't had that on there very long and that is very 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 hot. Now you all remember that those handles stayed at around 144 degrees. Side of the can is already reading 267. Bottom of the can reading 110. The handle is reading 79 degrees. So when this, and like I said, it only reads up to 400. That's what happens after 400 degrees. At the edge where the flame is not hitting it but boiling around it, there it is, 309. 
Now, in order to lift this thing off, I can grab this and I can hold this until it cools off, just like a little can. Then I can put my flame out. So this, I can hang in the tent. There's still a little bit of residual heat coming off of it until it cools down. Then I can grab it and hold it. So there is my latest decision on my heater for the tent. It's a lot safer, won't burn myself, be able to pick that up and hold it and put the flame out if I have to if it gets too big or, or gets too dangerous in the tent. Now my tent is still vented so the carbon monoxide coming off of here will not put me out. Uh, I think I'll be fine with this. I'll be laying on the floor anyways and uh, I know carbon monoxide sinks to the floor but with a lot of air going through that tent, the, ra the radiant heat will keep me warm. Okay, stand by one second. Okay, that's it. I kept it short and sweet. Hope my daughter likes it. It's a real quick one. Should be able to get it on tonight. But, thanks for watching. Looks like I'll be going up the Appalachian Trail maybe the end of November. Uh, we're due probably some snow up there. So, uh, I'll be happy with that. As you've seen, my grandson and myself already walked in about eight inches of it, made lunch up there, had a blast. So this time I hope to be staying overnight, possibly in the snow. Be going up at Pulpit Rock for those of you that know Pennsylvania, uh, going in at Hawk Mountain and coming down toward Hamburg and coming out the Reservoir Road. So looking forward to it. Stay strong, patient, and trust your journey. Thank you.